I'm here with Elon Moyer of Tactia, and he's telling us about the uh, augmented power tools that they have. Yeah, so we're building a, a handheld CNC router. And so the idea is that uh, the user moves it around in approximately the shape that you want to cut out. And then the computer takes up the last little bit to give added precision to your manual motion. Excellent. So it corrects for any kind of um, the user going off course a little bit? Yeah, exactly. OK. Well, let's uh, switch over and maybe do a little demonstration with it. Sure, that would be great. Yeah. All right, so this is a digital uh, power tool. It can help you cut any shape you want out of wood, plastic, or sheet metal of any complexity and of any size. So the way it works is you load it up with a library of different shapes you might want to cut. So you put them in the tool just like you might put MP3s in an MP3 player. Here we're going to select a, a USA that we're going to cut out. And you slap it down on a piece of wood where you might want to cut the shape. Then the way it works is when a lot cuts this out, he's just going to follow the shape very approximately. He's going to move it roughly around the shape just getting in the ballpark. We've got a couple stepper motors on there that can adjust the position of the router to snap it to the plan. So that Alon just has to kind of very loosely follow the shape freehand, and it'll make sure that it cuts it up perfectly accurately to about a hundredth of an inch accuracy. So here, is, we're cutting out the USA, which is kind of a crazy shape. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but it's not just about crazy shapes like that. It's also about doing things like a perfect straight line without a guide or a 90 degree angle that's exactly 90 degrees every time, or joinery, or lettering like this here. And uh, it's also unlimited range. So I'm using it to make all the furniture in my apartment starting with this queen size bed. And because it's digital, complexity is free. So I decided to make all my furniture using no nails or screws or hardware of any kind, but instead Japanese style joinery, which would be really tricky to do by hand. But because digital, uh, you can cut it out freehand, perfectly accurately, even if you're not a skilled woodworker. Now, is the uh, are the design files um, fairly universal? Can you take designs that were made for other machine tools and use them on this? Absolutely. Right now, we use SVGs, but it really could be any file format. Okay, so anything you can get into SVG format will work with this. Yeah, right now. Yeah. And so here, you can see that he cut it out. And uh, if you line it up with a previous cut, you can see it's about a hundredth of an inch accurate. It's also totally portable, so you could take this to a job site, throw it in your truck, drive it across town, cut whatever you need, wherever you need to, cut a wall, cut a countertop, cut a floor, cut something that's already there. That's great, and if someone wants to learn more about this, where can they go? So we've got a website, taktia.com, T-A-K-T-I-A.com, and on there there's a mailing list. We're going to be doing a Kickstarter in a few months, and if you're on the mailing list, you'll be the first to hear about it, and you can get an early bird discount. Well, good luck with that, and thanks so much for sharing today. Hey, well, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. I'm here with the guys from Carbide 3D. What are you showing off this weekend? So we've got a... Do I take Yeah, it? go ahead. So we've got a, a desktop milling machine, um, fully ready to run, fully enclosed. It'll come with all of the software to get it running, all of the cutters, all of the material, all of the jigs that you need to be productive from day one. And we've wrapped it up, made it look good, and, and we're showing it off here. How long have you been in production with this? We've been working on it for 10 months. Um, we're going to go in production in about, or we've got to deliver machines in about two and a half. So by the time we ship it, we'll have about a year in it, full time, a lot of work. All right, can you show us a little bit about uh, the, the actual mechanics inside? Yeah, sure. So we got here, it's a closed loop spindle. So constant RPM through a, a different cutting loads. Uh, designed by, by us, all the firmware. We're running Gerbil, so we designed our own uh, Gerbil shield to go with it. We've got a, a really awesome belt tensioner, so you get uh, no slippage, no, you don't lose any steps. Solid aluminum frame, so you keep it rigid. That allows you to cut aluminum and brass, and uh, on down to wood, composites, wax, plastics, acrylic. Uh, you can even mill PC boards, because we've got a really good resolution. And of course, it comes with a really beautiful bamboo housing, which is uh, perfect for any office or uh, studio. And uh, this is good for the through-hole drilling as well? Yeah, we've got a, a way to do tool changing. It's not automatic, but it'll tell you to change a tool. You change your tool, and we have a tool length setter, so it'll come here, re-zero the Z, come back and do your job, so there's a super easy, no hassle. So you can do different, uh, different drill sizes, 
after you've uh, drilled the through hole, you change the tool for an uh, engraving bit, and then you can do the uh, milling. That's fantastic. If you want to learn more about this, where can they go? You guys can check out the website at uh, carbide3d.com. Uh, you can check out the Kickstarter, uh, uh, Nomad883. Or you can go to carbide3d.com slash Kickstarter, and it'll take you right to our Kickstarter page. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.